Uh, specifically, uh, do you remember, uh, not too long ago, we covered a story talking about how IBM had been toying with neural computing. They had essentially duplicated a rat brain. Uh, neural computing, when you, when you start talking about uh, uh, electronics, is different than traditional electronics. Rather than having an if then, if this, then that, then that, then that logic tree, neural computing allowed you to sort of mimic the patterns of neurons in the brain so that you could have associations rather than just memory recalls. Very interesting technology, very interesting science. But Lou, at the time, there weren't some really great applications. I mean, the, the applications they came up with was you could come up with computers that were very fast, that maybe could do pattern recognition a, a bit more easily than traditional computing, that maybe used less power for mobile processors. But there, there wasn't a really good use of this outside of the lab. Do, do you remember the story? The, the yeah, rat I, think, brain? I think one of the biggest things was the fact that neurons are just super efficient in your brain. You know, power, power consumption wise, as well as just efficiency and how they actually fire. And so to have a, some kind of a transistor silicon based processor to be able to do the same it, at this point in time just wasn't possible. So even some of the older models, even the older versions of these processors that were supposed to, to simulate uh, neurosynaptic firing was they're just so inefficient. So that's kind of mm -hmm. the key. Very inefficient. And also, you know, when you think about how the way that the human brain works, the left brain is the logical brain. That actually operates more like a traditional computer, whereas the right brain, it's free to find patterns. Uh, so, for example, if you, if you recognize something, if you look at something and you say, oh, well, I've got a memory of that, you bring back all the associations that you have with that memory, with that thing that you are seeing or smelling or touching or invoking any of your senses. Now, that's the way that the human brain works. Which is interesting that you can duplicate that in hardware. Uh, our IBM's attempt at creating a rat brain was, it was interesting, but they had created one with 48 million neutrons, whereas the human brain can contain billions of billions of neutrons.